good morning students so now i am going to give you the answers to the home assignments that i have given you on 23rd april so the question was underline the nouns in the following sentences question number 1 the ganges is a sacred river number 2 camel is the ship of desert number 3 Ramesh is my best friend. Number four, Miss Priya teaches us English. The last one, Bruno is my pet dog. So the answers are: in the first sentence, the Ganges is a secret, sacred river. Here, the nouns are Ganges and river. In number two, camel is the ship of desert. Here. we have three nouns which are camel ship and desert number c ramesh is my best friend here we got two nouns which are ramesh and friend in the fourth question that is miss priya teaches us english here again we have got two nouns which are miss priya and english and in the last sentence bruno is my pet dog here the nouns are bruno and dog so now la- let's proceed to the home assignments of 24th april so your question was like that underline the verbs in the following sentences the bird is building a nest please lend me a pen I am singing a song. Rahul is eating breakfast. Rita lives in Delhi. Sonia is watching TV. So the answer of the first sentence, the bird is building a nest, is is building means here is building is our verb. In the next sentence, please lend me a book. The verb is lend. Number C. In this sentence, the verb is am singing. Then in number D, Rahul is eating breakfast. Here the verbs are is eating. Number E, Rita lives in Delhi. The verb is lives. And in the last one, that is Sonia is watching TV. Here the verbs are is watching. Now, look at the home assignments of twenty seventh. April Your question was underline the adjectives and circle the nouns they describe Question was the food was tasty next the king was kind next mother made warm chapati for Nisha Number D the cow eats green grass and the last one this is a long rope so here are your answers of number a the food was very tasty here the noun is food and the adjective is tasty then in the next sentence the king was kind the noun is king and the adjective is kind in number c mother made warm chapatis for her here we have got two nouns which are mother and chapatis and Uh, in the next sentence that is sorry so here the uh, in in this third sentence itself the adjective is warm in the next sentence the cow it's green grass here again we have got two nouns which are cow and grass and your adjective is green and the last one is this is a long rope and here your adjective is long and the noun is rope so here comes the uh, home assignments of 28th april and the questions are underline the pronouns in the following sentences number 1 sita told geeta that she should work hard number b shakespeare is a writer he had written novels Number C. Seema wore a dress that she bought from the supermarket. Number D. Riya and Tania went zoo, but they had to come back because it was closed. 
and the last one rima's mother told her to rest after the school hours so uh, in the first example that is sita told geeta that she should work hard your pronoun is she then in the next example shakespeare was a writer he had written uh, novels here your answer is he next in number c seema wore a dress she bought from the supermarket here your pronoun is she in, num- in number d rita and tanya went to the zoo but they had come back as it was closed so here you can get two pronouns which are they and it and in the last sentence tina's mother told her to rest after the school hours here your pronoun is her now go to the next assignments that i gave on 29th april so the question was rewrite the sentences using the possessive pronouns number 1 this house belongs to you sorry them number b this scale belongs to him number c this dress is for you and number d those pens belong to you all and the answers are this house is theirs number b this is his scale number c this dress is yours and the last one is those pens are your so with it here comes the end of our today's class and i'll give you the next answers in the next home, uh, video so thank you so much